we're back. Back with uh, Zoo Tycoon 2. And uh, I know that earlier we were going to see the, uh, the baby zebras, uh, such as it were. But while I was waiting for the zebra pregnancy to uh, come to term, you see this is not all the way, uh, one of the jaguars actually got pregnant and that progressed much faster. So we are going to watch the, uh, the jaguars first before the zebra. So currently she's yawning, but now she's going to give birth. So these are going to be our first baby animals baby jaguar cubs usually they uh, they go to give birth in like uh, like a little like some plants see so there she's going here I'm gonna actually get down here I'm gonna crouch down oh, there she goes there she goes <gasps> all right so we have twin baby jaguars and they do need more space, so I am going to put the game on pause while I... First, I'm going to look at the baby jaguars. Where are they? There's one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, all right. This is... Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is just... Oh, that's, that's precious. 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 There we go. That's so cute. Baby jaguar female, and another female. We've got two... Oh, dear. That's... Nah, wrong side of the fence. We've got two baby female jaguars. Them... Uh... All right. So now we just have to wait until uh, until this is good. So in the meantime, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with my baby jaguars. Is what I'm going to do. Yep. Child. Oh my goodness. I'm like just as tall of them, tall as they are, when I'm crouched. I'm like, oh, they're both over here. Are they gonna jump on the rock? Oh my gosh, is it gonna jump on the rock? Come on, jump on the. Oh, oh well, it's okay. I was just hoping, but uh, this tree is blocking my. Can't go directly back, but. Ooh, yikes! That's frightening. Oh. <gasps> Um, what, what is going on? Is that a, that's, that's a positive? I mean, yeah, I know that's a thing, but did you see her face? That was, that was a little freaky. It's still like that? It's still like that, yeah. She's... But, but we're all good. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh man, oh man. Get the little jaguar cubs. See, look at that. That's that's a fearsome. That's 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 uh look at her nose, it's all like scrunched up. The the adult male doesn't look like that, does it? Oh wait, hang on, whoops, let's go back down. Well, it does too. They didn't look like that earlier, did they? I'm not just... That's not just me. Did they? Aw, oh, man. Now I wish I had been paying more attention, but oh well. Say la vie, eh? Alright, it's been a while, but... Our female common zebra is almost ready to give birth. Currently, she's uh, going to pee. But then afterwards, presumably, she will give birth. All right, all right. Here we go. Oh, she's coming over here. Oh, whoops. Stay out of sight. There we go. All 
All right, all right. Hmm? Hello? Yep. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, here we are. Okay. Common Zebra 3. And this one is... A baby boy. And they still have plenty of space. Cool, so that means I don't need to modify their exhibit. Alright, so this is our, you know, second, you know, birth. Or our, you know, third baby animal, such as it were in this zoo and total look at these guys they are so cute oh look see there we go again they're just like ah uh... all right well now that uh you know we've we've done this i can't now that they've given birth where is it where is it where is it where is it ah there it is now that they've given birth i can Now that we've finished, they've given birth, uh, I can safely say that we are done with this zoo. However, we are not going to be playing the next scenario in Zoo Tycoon 2. We are instead going to go back to Zoo Tycoon No. 2, and we are going to be playing the scenario in this game. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back and forth between Zoo Tycoon 2 and Zoo Tycoon, the original one. This game came out in 2001. And we will be starting with Small Zoo Beginner. This small zoo starts with three well-made exhibits and three animals ready for adoption. Match the correct animal with its preferred exhibit. Examine the names of the exhibits to get a clue as to which habitats will best suit the animals. To do this, click the exhibit gate and note the name of the exhibit. Once the animals are in the correct exhibits, six new animals will become available. Create suitable exhibits for three of these new animals. And uh, these are our objectives. We've got six months to complete it. And uh, we're going to start. Oh, okay. No loading time, but that's cool. All right, so I'm going to put it on <clears throat> pause real quick. Just while I look around. Um, but this is nice. So see, this is uh, Giraffe World. Okay, that's nice, I guess. One of our animals, uh, oh yeah, you see giraffe. So, and then moose and camel. So much like, um, much like Zoo Tycoon 2, moose land, and camel desert. Much like Zoo Tycoon 2, the first few scenarios are really kind of a, a zookeeper in training type deal, you know, just to, to get your feet wet first. Um, and so those are the ones we're going to be playing. Uh, so yeah, so I'll, I'll get started with the, I have, I have tons of money. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put this giraffe here. Uh, we've already got male. So I'm also, I also want a male moose, you know, for the same reason that I wanted it in, you know, the other one. And then I'll do a female camel, same as it was in the other one. Now that the giraffes, moose, giraffes, plural? Mm, well, oh, I guess it wants me to get plural for all of them. But, I don't know, we'll see. Are all in the proper exhibits? You can purchase six more animals. Choose three of these and make suitable exhibits for them. Alright, so, also... So this game is isometric. As I said, it came out in 2001. And I really, really, it's like... It's like one of those early tycoon games. You know, like, Sim City. You know, like that sort of thing. Not even like the regular Sims, but like... Yeah, that's sort of isometric. I mean, of course, the first Sims was also isometric, but um, uh, but I digress. So this, what are our new options? Thompson's Gazelle, maybe not. Lion. Uh huh. Leopard. Hmm. Kangaroo. Well, we already had polar bears and lions in, you know, our other um. You know, in the other small zoo. So we're not going to do either of those. Uh, tigers. We can do tigers. Mm. Thompson's gazelles are kind of, kind of, you know, kind of small. You know, they're cool. But so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do leopards, 
Bengal tiger, and red kangaroo. Um, and we've got six months to complete this. It is already the ninth, but um, despite the fact that, you know, that makes it seem like time is moving fast, I promise you time is not moving fast. I'm going to finish this with tons of time, and it's really, it's almost annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. So, okay, so let's see. I want to try and match the style of the zoo, but I think... All right, so that's going to be the kangaroo exhibit. This will be the tiger exhibit, and that will be the leopard exhibit. So, the leopard exhibit is going to have rock exhibit fence. Is there a rock window fence? There is. Excellent. So, I'm going to zoom in for this creation mode, and I'm going to... Alright, so I think... Ooh, it's going to do, like, three right there. Alright, so I'm going to... I might as well follow this guideline. And then one, two, three, like that. Okay. And then here, we're going to do just like this. And this is going to be, what did I say, leopards? So this is going to be leopard uh, forest, keeping in the exhibit name theme with the others. Uh, I like, I really do like naming my exhibits in this one. You know, I, I don't... I guess I don't usually name animals, but I do like naming my exhibits. Uh, and I am a little bit sad that that's not a feature in Zoo Tycoon. All right, how do I do this? How do I play this game? Uh, I played this game a lot less as a child. You know, I got it. Uh, you know, I, I had Zoo Tycoon 2 first. Uh, so what I'll often do is I'll refer to this game as the second one, and I'll call Zoo Tycoon... Zoo Tycoon 2, sorry... Uh, I'll call Zoo Tycoon 2 the first one, uh, which is, of course, not accurate, but but that's just how they work in my head. First, I need to make sure. Do I have a zookeeper? Okay, I do. All right, so I'm going to actually assign this zookeeper to 1, 2, 3, and then once I place these animals, these three, then I'm going to get a second zookeeper. Uh, just, you know, six exhibits for one zookeeper is kind of a, a, a bit much. Um, but we should be fine. Here, I want a female leopard. I'm going to put it down in this empty exhibit so that I can see what they need. So, currently, I'm going to do foliage first, or uh, terrain first, sorry. Uh, they want more dirt, more rainforest. Okay, I thought there was rainforest. I was like, why is the leopard savanna? But that's why. Alright, so I'm going to put... First, I'm going to put some fresh water. Start with the water. Yeah. Okay, that's probably good. Oh, no, 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 I was wrong. There's too much fresh water, so I'm going to replace that. Is that good? Nope, still more dirt. Alright. Still too much fresh water, but now we can use some rainforest, so I'm going to make this whole area rainforest. Okay, and not enough savanna grass. Still not enough? Alright, perfect! Okay, now, um, well, there's no more foliage requirement, but I'm still going to put some. What kind of foliage do they like? They like the baobab tree. We have, I don't know, I feel like this is more trees than they give you at the start of a regular game. Maybe that's just because this is the, uh, you know, maybe this is just because it's the first tutorial. Um, but anyway. Ah! Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, uh, shelters, animal shelter, so let's see, cats, so, so again, unlike in Zoo Tycoon 2, all of these animals have very specific requirements, and you have to, so stable, they don't want stable, small and hoofed, hoofed animals, okay, so, alright, but if there's a better one, small animals, yeah, it looks like I'm just going to have to get the concrete shelter. Yeah, it likes that one. So that's that's nice. Capacity 4. 
Capacity 2. Well, I don't think we'll get more than... Okay, so a toy. And we have a small lion rock. Can they use the lion rock? Because they are cats. But they're not lions. And they cannot use the lion rock. So they're going to be out of luck. So actually what I am going to do is I'm going to start researching some toys. Okay, I'm going to put this on pause. Yeah, you know, I said, hmm, well, I say a lot of things. All right, so let's only look for animal enrichment, you know. Staff education, well, hmm, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's increase our funding since we have a ton of money. Uh, usually I put it on minimal, but I'll leave it at normal for today. And then conservation, we don't really need any conservation funding right now. Okay. So it wants a toy, but we don't have any, and it wants rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. Alright, so I'm going to put it back on play so that I can see his little... Oh, also I'm going to zoom out. So I can see his little happiness bubbles. I'm going to put them right along the edge of his exhibit, along the edge that I can't see. And then there's that, but, you know, and then I feel this one. Oh, no, no, that's too much. Alright, good, good, good. And then it wants a toy, but unfortunately, I cannot give him a toy. Look, he's so unhappy. Ah! Uh, I feel really bad, actually. It really wants a toy. Why is it so unhappy? Is there not enough space? Yikes. All right, well, hopefully that will improve. All right, uh, on to our next exhibit. You know, just, uh, just, ah. Uh, why is this happening to me? I'm going to get a male tiger. No, I want to do the kangaroo first. And red kangaroo, they're both red. Okay, so that doesn't really matter. Um, these ones, I'm going to get... I'm going to get the wood slat fence. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And the wood slat fence, I'm going to do up here like that. And then... Doo -doo 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 -doo, down there like that. And then... Uh, it does not say whether or not anim whether or not guests can see through, but I am going to get the window because I'm pretty sure that if it says nothing, it means no. And this is going to be kangaroo house. Kangaroo house. I know kangaroos don't really live in houses. And is that kangaroo spelled correctly? <sighs> Um, kangaroo. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so first I want the fence to be here, not there. Uh, then they are also savannah. So I'm going to lay down a, you know, a bed of savannah first, you know, so that I can have like a nice little slate to put them on and then I'm going to put my kangaroo here and then I'm going to check his recommendations. He wants more sand and more dirt and that looks like it'll be good. Alright, so some dirt. I'm going to put some dirt. He doesn't need any fresh water. What, do they not drink? I mean, that's, that's fine. I don't really care. You know, if he drinks or not. But I'm just a little curious is all. Too much sand and not enough dirt. Right. Not enough shelters. No, they're in animals. Animal shelters. And let's see. Burrow? I don't know. Will he like the burrow? Nope. No, no, no. Well, it was a thought. Okay. He's not a hoofed animal. So I guess I'm just going to give him the concrete shelter too. However, I do foresee... Possibly getting a female kangaroo, and then they may or may not breed. Actually, I'll just go ahead and get a female kangaroo now. I'm not going to foresee it. That's unnecessary. Um, I'm sorry. And now there's all of a sudden not enough dirt again. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit more dirt. Well suited. All right. See, look, they're really happy. Why is my leopard not happy? Is it just because he wants a toy? Yikes. Alright, okay, so remember how I said we were going to do this? Alright, we are going to only search for toys because we really, really want one. And then in two days, we are going to check that because I don't know if it'll waste it or not, but I don't want to just in case. 
Um, because we need, we need, we need, we need a toy. What are our objectives for this? Scenario objectives. Average, okay, so we have the average animal happiness rating of 80. We do have it, because it's average, so. But still, I, I want all my, okay. I want all my animals to be as happy as possible. Sorry, zookeepers. Swinging log toy. That looks like it might be fun for... A leopard. I mean, if I were a leopard, I would like the swinging log toy, I think. And then last but not least, our tiger exhibit, which I'm really looking forward to because tigers are really... That's... Okay, so that's weird. This up here, that's that's strange. So I think I'm just gonna, yep, do that. And I'm just gonna do this manually. You know, just, just one of those things. Alright, and this one, one, two, three, four... And then over here. Yeah, it's doing that same thing. It's a little weird, but hopefully it'll be fun. All right, and then one, two, three, four. Okay. And then like that. And this is going to be Tiger Kingdom. Okay. And we're going to put our gate right there. And it's March, uh, but it's only March 1st, so we've still got plenty of time. I'm going to get some tropical rainforest. Like this, tropical rainforest. Leopard 1, can't find any food. Oh, yikes. Okay, all right, I'll buy that second zookeeper now. Zookeeper, a sign here. Here. Oh, you know, I <laughs> I called it Leopard Forest, but then there's only one tree. Ah, oh, well, you know, these things, they happen. Maybe his exhibit just isn't big enough. Hungry, can't find any food. He needs some more foliage. Okay, I'll give him some more foliage, but... Here, I'll give him... No, that's Indian. Thornbush. Oh, I like the yellow fever acacia tree. But, and then one or two umbrella thorn acacia trees. And then a thorn bush. Maybe a couple. Yeah, he's really. Okay. Alright. He's hungry and can't find any food, but there is food there, so hopefully he will go to it shortly. In fact, I'm going to pick him up and put him right in front of the food. So this is really pixelated. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little too pixelated. Like, you know, I don't generally mind it, but that's really pixelated. And then these guys are still fine. The zookeeper will come to them eventually. All right, but now I need to do the lion or the tiger. Whoops, not the lion. Tiger. Uh, tiger. And I want. Mm, they're exactly the same. So. I'll... Oh right, I gotta put him. And then zookeeper recommendations. All right, first we need more grass terrain. More grass terrain. Alright, that's too much grass, but don't worry, because we can put down some dirt. That's too much dirt. However, they like lots of fresh water. Now there's not enough grass... All right, swinging log toy. All right, let's give them the swinging log toy. Ah! Swinging log toy is for elephants. Rats. Well, it was worth trying. Okay, uh, not enough grass, too much fresh water. Okay, so we will take our grass tool, which is up here. Uh, fresh, uh, yeah, and then get rid of some of this fresh water.
Alright, uh, shelter. Again, we're just going to go with the standard concrete shelter. And I am just going to get a small one because I'm not going to get a second tiger. I want to turn this. I'm going to put it right there by the edge of the exhibit. And then we need lots of foliage for this tiger. And he prefers the mangrove tree. Mangrove tree. Uh, which, of course, in... Uh, in this game, the mangrove tree is a rainforest tree, not a wetlands tree. It's ironic because I did have mangrove trees in my jaguar exhibit. Um, but they were wetland trees, not rainforest, like the jaguars wanted. Um, but... But that's because the biomes work totally differently in this game. Uh, is that, you know, they have specific terrain requirements which kind of would match their biomes rather than... No, I don't want that. Foxtail palm, we can do those. Um, terrain requirements. Uh, okay, we'll just stick with these. Uh, that would match. Yeah, I already said that. But. Does he want any rocks? No, just more foliage. Um, which, I don't know, I kind of like. I mean, I also definitely like the um, the Zoo Tycoon 2 method, definitely. Also, you know, that's the one I'm more used to. Um, and it does, it definitely does allow for better cross-compatibility. You know, you can take any two rainforest animals, as long as they're not going to kill each other, and put them in the same exhibit. Whereas in this one, you know, like this tiger, he wants some grass and he wants some dirt. But, for instance, another rainforest animal, which there aren't any in the, in the market, but... All right, that's a lot of foliage. You good? No, he still wants more. Can I get an elephant ear tree? No, he really doesn't like that. Okay. Um, you know, he wants some grass, but another rainforest animal might not want that. And then, you know, like, like another, you know, for instance, you can't put South American animals and Asian animals together. That'll they'll be unhappy because they'll want different kinds of foliage, and you know that's that's fair. I guess real zoos would generally. There are three months lion climbing rock. Don't we already have a lion climbing rock? Ah. All right, tiger, you're killing me. This is a lot of foliage. I'm gonna put some more mangrove trees. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Exhibit is well suited for Bengal Tiger One. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. What is up with you? He just wants to have some fun and would like a toy. Ah, uh, but it doesn't say what kind of toy he wants, nor what kind of toy we're working on. Chimpanzee bars, really? You gotta be kidding me. Hang on, I just thought of a good idea. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Um, let's see. Tiger, leopard. Oh, no, toy. Large, okay, so we had the small lion rock. Now we have the large lion rock, which maybe he'll like this one. Nope, didn't think so. So ultimately, we're just uh, out of luck with our, um, with our leopard. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We've, Earn a suitability rating at least 60 for six exhibits. What do you mean? No. Where's our exhibits? Exhibit list. So this is one thing that's really cool, is he gives us our exhibit list. It does not say suitability. No, it doesn't. I had to have to check individually. However, this, I can see suitability 86. Suitability 80. Suitability 90. Suitability 84, despite the fact that, you know, he hates everything. Suitability 75, and then last but not least, 95. Okay, so we do have suitability of... Ah, there we go. Suitability rating for six months. Okay. Or for six exhibits. And we've got three months left, uh, during which time I will uh, create little guest areas. I'm going to start with the tiger, which I said earlier was my favorite. So I am going to start with that. So I'm going to delete this dirt path. And I'm going to delete this dirt path. Then I'm going to rotate it. Ah, rotating the game world. 
so much fun, honestly. You get to look at your zoo in a whole new way. Uh, I am going to leave that like there, and I'm going to leave this here. Okay, what kind of paths do we have available to us? Excellent, we have this concrete path. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do like this. Uh, but I think... Dirt path. Uh, do we want an extra extra space or do we want what kind of decorations do we have available we've got lots of decorations available to us but I am going to put an exhibit sign here so that they can read all about the kangaroos um, I actually I want to leave this here so that the zookeepers can walk you know on the path they don't have to like you know um, decorative fence Let's see, are they using picket fence for everyone? No, they're only using picket fence for the giraffe, and then they've got that little... So the kangaroos are going to have this post and rope fence. Like that, and then... Uh, I can't see, but I can trust... Oh, I can look at the money. Okay, excellent. And then like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to put some benches. Uh, because all zoos need benches. And I think the benches are going to go right up, right in front of the path, just like these ones. Large chimpanzee bars. All right, what's next? Gorilla climbing bars. You know, it'd be nice if I could, like, choose what to research. That would be, that'd be really nice. Like, I, I understand. You know, I'm not... No, that's too big. I'm not going to throw a fit. I'd like to get some of these flowers. Maybe they're actually in foliage. Hmm. They are. The flowers are in foliage. That's... Who knew? Okay. Polar bear, elephant, rhinoceros, and giraffe. That's not what I want, but I do like these little... And I am going to put those. You know? I like them. Flower bed... They've already got those flower beds, like, behind, but I think for this one, I'm going to put them kind of off to the side. And I'm not going to do... Or I could do, like, a decorative hedge, like, right there. So then it would look like that. I think I like that. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's one down. Wait a minute. Hang on. Ah, also, that's not what I want. See, rotating the game world is a necessity. Because I don't want that. All right. Also, I said I was going to do the lion, or the tiger first. Also, I just called it a lion again. Uh, but, you know, say la vie. Eh? Alright, uh, delete this. Yup, 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 yup. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay. Alright, that's, that's what I want. And... For the tiger, I'm just going to do... Oh! I could use low concrete fence. That's not exactly um, exhibit fence, but... Yeah, I'll just... Alright, so for this one, I do want to do like this. For that one, I do want double path. And then I'm going to do, let's see, two... I'm going to do something uh, sort of... Um, yeah, I'm going to do something sort of like like that. And then that... Mm, no, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. Yeah, that's... Zookeeper's having trouble getting to Kangaroo House? Maybe... Nah, I think it's fine. Maybe, yeah, I'll go with my first instinct. And I'll get rid of this, this, and this. Yeah. And then, I'm actually not going to use that low fence. I'm going to use this fence. Like that. Yes, that's what we're going to do. 
And then over here, I'll do that. And then over here, I'll do this. Perfect. And then, uh, right. No, 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 wait. I want foliage, 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 foliage. Here, I'm going to have some nice yellows. And there, I'm going to have this red. Perfect. And then I'm going... So, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to delete... No, 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 no. Undo, undo. I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm going to delete gorilla climbing bars. That's not helpful at all. I don't have any gorillas. Uh, one last thing. I'm going to bench, you yeah, know, this bench here. And this bench here, and then this will go right there. Perfect. That one's done. I like it. Actually, do we have like a statue? We've got a lion statue and an elephant statue and bighorn statue, but there's no tiger statue yet. Although I might... Nah, it, it's very clearly a lion. It's not like just a generic big cat. It's definitely, definitely a lion. Alright, what's our next research? Cat climbing tree! Favored by leopards. Well, you know, it it took long enough, but, um... It is what it is. And finally, also, getting to the leopard exhibit. And actually, I am going to extend their viewable area uh, this way just a little bit by, like, that much. And then I'm going to delete the rest. So, delete this, delete this. And then rotate the game world. Oh, no, wrong direction. Alright. Uh, delete. Nope, no, 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 don't do that. Okay. And then, yep. Alright, perfect. Okay, and here actually, I'm going to do something a little different. Instead of branching off from here or there, I'm going to branch off from there, and here. Yeah, I like that, and then here I am gonna just, just there, and then I'm going to add more benches, no, 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 but I am gonna add, ah, no, this is what I want, this is what I want, the rock observation area, which way is it facing, it's hard to tell, yeah, okay, it's facing the proper direction. So how do they, they just have like, okay. So I'm going to just do like one, two, three, like that. And then on the other side, I'm just going to have one, two, like that. No, 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 actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to delete that one. But that one's fine. Yeah, I like that one. No, actually I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. And I am going to put one last thing here. And a bench, a couple of benches. I'm gonna put a bench, bench, uh, bench there, and last but not least, a bench here. All right. So this is uh, this is our zoo. Um, all right. When's our research? It's gonna be ready in six days, but that will not be enough. Because the scenario will end June 1st, and then we'll be finished. Hopefully. Yep, six for six exhibits. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Save game. And this is small zoo. Save. And now I think I will wait. Oh, it's going pretty quickly. So here we are. This is it. We didn't do any of this. You know, it was just here. But uh, for the next zoo that we do on this, we hopefully will get to build like a little guest area because I really, I really like these lamps. The lamp posts in Zoo Tycoon, I think these ones are better than the ones in Zoo Tycoon 2. The other ones in Zoo Tycoon 2, they don't really give off light. I mean, I guess they don't give off light. Oh my goodness, look at that trash can. We need, do we have any zoo? We have one maintenance worker, but mm, he is not doing his job. Hire another one. Oh, actually, we've got a whole month left. Okay. Uh huh. Well, I am gonna buy this. Uh, zoom out. Nope. No. No. Whoops. Okay. Run over here, and then I am going to put the cat 
climbing tree right there. And how about now? Hmm? 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 Is it gonna climb? Here, if I zoom out just a bit so it can... Exhibit is well suited. Come on. Knows it wants to. Alright, that's not too pixelated. No. It's uh, still unhappy. Anyway, since there is in fact still a month left, I was uh, mistaken. I thought it was going to end at June, but it's actually going to end at the beginning of July. Um, since there's still a month left, I'm just going to skip ahead. So we have won the scenario. Uh, we are going to continue playing. Uh, but so our leopard's happiness has slowly crawled up. I I got the cat climber, but uh, or the the cat tree, but I don't know what it is. But maybe it's maybe it's the space. I'm not sure. Uh, usually it should say the exhibit is not big enough for the amount of animals that you have in it, and I don't know if that's mm, it might be that. Um, but I would think it would say. But anyway, uh, so we're now done with this scenario. And the next scenario we will be playing will be another Zoo Tycoon 2 scenario. Uh, we're going to be doing Zoo Tycoon intermittently, you know, between the Zoo Tycoon 2 campaigns. Uh, because I do prefer Zoo Tycoon 2, but this is also, you know, it is in fact a Zoo Tycoon game. So, so anyway, uh, that'll be that. And that's all for now. So, adios.